Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. You're listening to Happy Esk, and this is Myrna Wolf. I wish I were more Happy Esk today, but uh, we had a bit of a patch. And um, as you may be able to tell from my voice, uh, it's gotten so bad that I've, uh, well, I've taken it just wearing a toque around the house. Uh, it's it's warm enough in here. I just, uh, something, something so comforting about wearing a toque, um, you know, sometimes even to bed. I, uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I uh, find it uh, just, it's keeping something inside that, that might otherwise pop out. Um, what I've been doing to pass the time, I, I hope you've been, uh, passing the time in a in a peaceful and happy way um i've been making lists and uh you know just to kind of keep myself on the uh, upward spiral uh, those of you who've known me for a while uh, you know all about my upward spirals and my downward spirals and um uh, and if you're new to me well welcome aboard the uh the good ship myrna uh, the uh the unthinkable myrna wolf as i like to call it some days but I've been thinking, uh, you know, a technique uh, uh, a previous therapist uh, showed me was uh, when you get in the sort of dumpy, as uh, she called it, which is why she's an ex-therapist, but uh, she had her, her good points. Um, she told me to concentrate on um, compassion. And, you know, it really does work. And it did work then when I had quit smoking. And I, I she taught me to look at every current smoker with uh, with deep compassion and and a kind of mantra that went something like, I'm so glad I'm not you. I'm so glad I'm not you. And, you know, after I stopped actually muttering it aloud, it, it worked It worked a charm. But in this pandemia, I've been thinking a lot about all the people my heart goes out to. And I, I made a kind of a top 10 people my, my heart goes out to. And I, well, as always, I, I wanted to share it with you because that's that's what I do. That's uh, what we do here on Happy Ask, speak in the plural, uh, the royal we, whatever it takes. But first and foremost, my heart goes out to uh, to people who think that a Brazilian wax is, is an essential service because, uh, you wow, I can't even imagine the uh, the anguish you must be feeling right now. And uh, and then in these mask covered days, the those of you with a lip or or mouth fetish, I may or may not be among your company. Um, you must be having a really hard time. And I just picture like um, you know next year at, at Mardi Gras uh, down in in New Orleans, they'd probably be screaming, "Show us your lips!" Uh, uh, just for for something new to shriek. We'll we'll just be so happy to to actually see each other's mouths again. And the uh, of course, the touchy-feely types uh, must really be struggling in these sort of standoffish, uh, socially distanced days. Uh, you probably haven't touched a complete stranger's pregnant belly for months, and uh, I really wonder how you're coping. I also thought about the people for whom, you know, beating the guts out of a piñata is just, it's just not a, a solitary pleasure. It's something that requires a group effort and teamwork and or, and or just an audience for your wild aggression. Close talkers. Close talkers are, uh, well, they're the pariahs of our a modern age, really, right now. Uh, you don't really want to see what happens when people jump back. Uh, even with a mask, close talkers, not, uh, not a welcome uh, member of our species right now. Now, lipstick salespeople, are you hurting as much as I imagine you are? That's uh, that's got to be rough, and I uh, I wanna to also do a special shout out to uh, to those of you who are living in a small uh, space with a, a domestic partner who also is a uh, the worst kind of addict, which is a back rub addict who uh, sort of follows you around, demanding to know what else are you doing right now, uh, demanding back rubs. Uh, morning, noon, and night. It's, you've got to be tired, those of you who are cooped up with those folks, so hats off. And, um, well, a, a personal creed is uh, the, the folks who are still answering fine when, when people ask, how are you? And uh, uh, we know you're just, you're a hair's breadth away from a complete meltdown, so maybe, uh, maybe start little baby steps saying, uh, not so good, or, well, I've been better, you know, wade into the waters of complete, uh, confessional, uh, 
you know, tell it all, let it rip, you know, are you really fine? I don't think so. All you folks who are playing bridge on Zoom, wow, um, I, I felt for people who played bridge before, now thinking of you in those little Hollywood squares playing bridge, it's, uh, it's more than my heart can take, really. Um, uh, the many, many people who, who've, who've lost access to their usual outlets for, for misplaced rage and anger, you know, waiters and uh, uh, room attendants at hotels, uh, you know, your manicurist, your, well, your Brazilian waxer, and then the poor kid that's, that used to sell you overpriced popcorn at the multiplex. I mean, who, who are you yelling at about the price of things now? as if it was their own personal responsibility. You must, you must have a very, um, uh, very spicy diary. That's all I can say. Lastly, I, uh, I put my, my heart out for, for all of you who, who have got through this pandemic, um, without a house coat, because you know what, it's, it's really, and I am clutching it because it's really all that's keeping me together. Uh, I, I, I self-soothe, I, I, you know, I, I wash it and I have a backup house coat. So for those of you who've managed to get through without one, uh, wow, my, my respect, my deepest respect. And, uh, you know what, as my, my, uh, current therapist who I'm about to, uh, stop seeing when we run out of time, it's told me that, uh, just be grateful if you're amongst some of the people I mentioned, well, again heartfelt thoughts your way uh not thoughts and prayers those are those are kind of so 2020 but uh you know heartfelt thoughts from this brain to your brain um this too shall pass and um until it does just remember one thing i love you to bits talk soon